Students leaving campus negatively affects their education and the liability of the students from the school authorities. Students are capable of leaving our many exits, getting into their cars, and driving to get food or doing illegal things. During an interview with Dave Goodwin, Peninsula High School's principal, he says that our school is having many issues with students leaving campus during school hours. This worries him to the point that there is talk of a closed campus at Peninsula High School. Uh, how do you feel about unauthorized kids leaving campus? I lose sleep over it. It worries me a lot because um, if something happens to a student while they're off campus, we have no control over their safety. If they're here on campus, we can control that. And um, so, yeah, it's it's an issue, and we we don't want them getting in cars with older kids and leaving and things like that. So, yeah, definitely concerns me. Uh, question two: How do you monitor? You know, we only have a certain limited number of staff, and it's pretty hard to monitor with the fact that you can leave from three different ways around here. And we've had kids before that have left, been caught, we told them not to leave, and they'll actually walk down and meet somebody down there in a car, and so it's really, really tough to police. Donnie does what she can do, but it's it's really tough, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what are you guys doing to solve the problem of kids leaving campus that are on campus? Well, when we find out about it, sometimes even their parents will call us and tell us that their their students leaving campus. We, we deal with it. It used to be uh, off campus was a one to three day suspension, um, we haven't been going with the three-day suspension lately, um, so we'll try other methods um, like in-house suspension or usually we can talk to a student and, and it will stop, but sometimes if it doesn't, we will go to up to a three-day suspension for that. Um, why do you have to be authorized to leave? Well, we want parents to authorize their juniors and seniors to leave because if something, again, does happen, there's a lot of liability involved and a parent, if they didn't know their student was leaving, uh, that creates liability for the district and everything else and for the school. And so we just want a parent to sign off saying, yeah, I know my student's leaving and I'm okay if they go to Costco to eat lunch or whatever. Mm -hmm. So. Um, why are freshmen and sophomores not allowed to get off campus passes? Well, <laughs> for one thing, I think that um, it's just been a tradition for a long time that juniors and seniors have been the ones allowed to leave. Mm -hmm. and. If everybody was allowed to leave campus, we'd have a real issue going on. Um, so, to be honest with you, there's talk about hey, being going to a completely closed campus in the future. That's been something that gets talked about every year. Um, Auburn High School, a lot of different high schools have gone to completely closed. Nobody can leave anymore. Um, so we still have that, but it's something that is a privilege right now. And I think if you had freshmen, sophomores leaving campus, going with older kids, you're going to get in situations you probably shouldn't be in. We're gonna have a lot of people trying to get back, not be tardy to find parking. They're gonna be racing home from, or not home, but racing back to school from wherever they went. Um, I think it would create major issues if we open that up mm -hmm. anymore. And like I said, if anything, it's probably gonna tighten up and not loosen up, so. Yeah. Um, does leaving campus, in your opinion, affect education? It does if a student can't get back here on time mm -hmm. and get into class. Um, if, if, we can, again, I'm all about treating, I want to treat people like adults, and I want to trust people until they, they show they shouldn't be trusted, so um, it can create problems. I think for some kids, it does, because they're late almost every day, and then they'll come and say they can't find parking or whatever it is, yeah. so it's definitely an issue for some kids, um, and for other kids, it's not an issue at all. They get here, they leave, they come back, and we don't hear about it, so. Students leaving campus face the risk of getting into fatal car crashes that leave the school responsible, and this is causing other issues for, throughout the entire school. Many times, unfortunately, when students exit the school during school hours, it enables them to do drugs or drink alcohol before they come back to the school, damaging their education, causing many distractions for their other classes. How often do you leave campus? Every day, sir. Do you think off-campus passes should be allowed for all grades? Yes, except for the freshmen, because they don't have cars. Why do you leave campus? To go get lunch. Do you think leaving campus affects your education? 100% no. Uh, I leave campus every single day and my grades are perfectly fine. <laughs> do you think off-campus passes should be allowed for all grades? Yes, except for the freshmen, because they don't have cars. 
Students such as the one in the interview can also have positive impacts from leaving campus. It gives them a sense of freedom and responsibility that is necessary to become the adults they will be. But unfortunately, the possibilities of the risks do not make it worth it for the students or the school or the district. Therefore, the safest choice to make in our high school would be to create a completely closed campus in order to fix the issue around our open campus rules. Our students' lives and education should come before their desire for fun during the school day.